to the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Webster works with Jenny and Jackson. <laughs> Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Okay, I think it's time to go home now. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hello, story maker. I'm Webster Wordsworth, magical maker of stories. Would you like to make some stories too? Oh, hello. It is so exciting because today was fun day in the library. Look. Yes, it says fun day because it really was a fun day. Yeah. A special person came to the library and she did tricks for the children. And look, she left her starry box for the children to look at. Oh, did you see her jelly? Oh, yes. Yeah. Cheche Kule, Cheche Kule, Che Kofisa, Che Kofisa, Kofisa Langa, Kofisa Langa, Langa Tilanga, Langa Tilanga. Hello, my little furry friends. Hello. Good to see you. Yes, we know. What's all this? A banner? Oh, yes, it says fun. Day. Oh. Yes, yes, because it really was a fun day in the library, Webster. There were lots of stories oh. and games oh. and, uh, um, oh, what and, else? And, oh. and a lady yes, who yes. brought tricks. Yes, she mm. filled the air with coloured balls. She yes. filled the air with coloured balls? Yes, yes. Uh, and she bought that special box. Yes. Uh, which one? Behind yes. you. Oh. Mm. Oh, oh, it looks very spangly. Mm. Ah, hmm. Jenny's Juggle Box. Oh, oh, yes, yes, that's what she was called. Jenny the Juggler. Yeah, hmm. uh, can we look inside it, Webster? Yes. Well, can we please? my little jelly jewel, um, I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't see why not. <laughs> now, let me see. Excuse me, Jackson. Ah, oh, ah, oh, what? Uh, I know what these are. Oh. Juggling balls. Ah. You throw them up in the air and catch them. Oh, I've juggled before, you know. <gasps> <gasps> but it was quite a long time ago, so I might be just a little bit rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Webster. <laughs> ah, da, da, da. Oh, oh. Ah. Oh, <laughs> I think you are out of practice, Webster. Mm. One of your balls has gone into the story machine. Ah. Oh, yes, about a day when something special happens. Yeah. A special occasion story. Mm. Good idea, Jackson. <laughs> now, we're going to need lots of imagination for this one to make the story machine work. Oh, yes. yeah. Come on. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. And it's called Sports Day. On a Sunday afternoon, nothing much was happening other than cycling and stopping and flying, kiting and ball kicking, goaling and badminton batting. It 
was sports day. On a sunny Sunday afternoon, nothing much was happening. Nothing much other than running and bowling and batting. Running and bowling and batting and catching. How's that? The dads were having a cricketing sports day. The scoreboard shows how many runs are scored. And even when not playing, dads aren't bored. There are plenty of Sunday papers to read. And the children, when they were not kicking, or running, or golfing, or kiting, would be helping their dads to get ready to bat. Is the pad on tight enough? Hmm? Yes, now that's that. So, at the wicket, gloves and bat in hand, dad's ready for the bowler, and, and, and... Ha. Watching the dads at play gets the children thinking. Why don't we have a cricket match too? We could use these gloves, they'd be just right. And these pads, phew, they're really big. So are the gloves, come to think. And as for the bat, oh, oh, uh, oh um, uh, how can you play with that? Never mind, bowl away. Oh, hmm. try and hit again. Hit? No, miss. This cricketing game's not that easy. Especially when we have to wear such cricket clubber. Never mind. Let the dads run and bowl and hit and run and field and catch. Ah, on a busy, bustling, boisterous, sunny Sunday afternoon, there's always tea at the end of play. We had a fantastic, gorgeous sports day. Ah, oh, a sports day. <laughs> I like special occasions. <laughs> <laughs> so do I, Webster. Uh, Webster, mm -hmm. what's in this box? Ah, it's Webster's box of tings and tings. <laughs> and it's full <gasps> of some very Ooh. special instruments that make some very special sounds. Mm. This is called a wooden agogo. <laughs> a go-go. Uh, do you want a go-go? This <laughs> is like a go-go. <laughs> <laughs> OK, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's lovely, <laughs> Jackson. That now, good. these are also very interesting. Ooh, what are they? They're tiny symbols and they sound very, very bright. Ooh. Listen. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Um, oh, why are there a pair of coconuts in your uh, box? Well, coconuts can be musical instruments too, you know. Can they? Mm, and they sound very clippity cloppity. Oh, oh, yeah, it sounds like a horse. Oh, oh, we should put these in the story machine to make another special occasion story. <laughs> yes, a coconut special occasion story. Clippity <laughs> plop. <laughs> now, let's imagine a clippity story. Hmm. Imagine, imagine. Imagine a story! Oh, it's a sniff and wag story. And it's called Sniff and Wag at the Fair. Sniff and Wag are friends. When the day ends and the sky grows dark, they sneak into the park through a hole in the fence. Something special makes Sniff stop and stare. Look, it's a travelling fair. The rides have stopped. The lights have been turned off. There is only the faint smell of candy floss. Wag is sad, and when Sniff asks her why, she says, I wanted to turn on the coconut shy. 
Suddenly, the fair comes to life and the coconuts sing. We are the dancing coconuts. Welcome to our show. Help yourself to balls and throw, throw, throw. Watch us as we wobble. Look out down below. If you knock us off, you can take us home. <laughs> Sniff throws a ball, but the coconut jumps over it. Na 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 na. You can't catch me. I'm the fastest coconut you ever did see. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. You're cheating. Leave it to me, Barkswag. I'll hit it. She throws the ball as hard as she can and whacks the coconut hard on the chin. Oh, oh. that hurt. Now you have to take me home. It groans. It's all right, says Sniff. I only eat bones. Hooray! I'm saved, the coconut cries. Now, can you help me get back on the shy? Wag snuffles the coconut on her nose. She tosses it up and back it goes. Two carousel horses come trotting over. Good evening, Charlie. Good evening, Flora. Now, meet two doggy friends of mine. They've been very kind and deserve a ride home. Sniff and Wag gallop home in style, holding tight all the while. Good night. Sleep tight, my little friends. Tomorrow we'll play again. to ride home on a carousel horse. Oh. Oh, 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 look at these lovely hats. The children made them for a fun day. Mm. <clears throat> hats! Hats! Ooh, Come what, and get Jenny, your hats! What, 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 what's this you've got, my little jelly jewel? Well, they are hats for oh. all of us. Yeah, mm. this one's yours. Oh! Wondrously wonderful, my jelly kids. Jelly, jelly, which one's mine? Um, oh, that shiny one. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, are these yeah. special occasion hats, Jelly? Um, yes, yes, they are. Ooh, mm. Except mine looks more like a trumpety tooter. Toot, 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 toot. Well, it can be a trumpety toot, toot hat. Ooh. And um, mine can be. Um, Oh, an ice cream cone. Oh, yes. An ice cream cone yes. hat. Oh, <laughs> yes. Look at that. <laughs> oh, it would take 50, 100 scoops of ice cream to fill that cone. Yum. 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 I have ice cream sometimes when it's a special occasion, mm -hmm. but really, I wish I could have it every day. Mm. Jelly, why don't we put your ice cream cone hat into the story machine and make an ice cream story? Mm? Mm. Well, what do you think, Webster? Mm. Well, with a little imagination, it might just work. Well, that should do it. Now it's time for a little imagination. Can you help? Hmm? Imagine, imagine, imagine a storm. Oh, it's a blue cow story. Blue cow at the amusement park. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was standing in her field where nothing special was happening as usual. I wonder what it would be like at a place where there's a special occasion happening. 
She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where there's a special occasion, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for an amusement park. And then they arrived. There were lots of different kinds of roller coasters and rides. Ooh, I wonder what the special occasion is, said Blue Cow. It's my birthday, of course, said a voice. Blue Cow turned to see a small boy. Hi, I'm George, he said. It's my birthday today, so I'm here with my sister and dad. Would you like to go on a ride with us? Oh, yes, please. So, Blue Cow joined George, his sister Kylie and Dad. Dad bought them all huge ice creams. Shall we all go on the ride of doom? Asked George. It's the biggest roller coaster in the world. Um, ride of doom? Asked Blue Cow nervously. You'll love it, said Kylie. You can sit next to me. Blue Cow sat down on the roller coaster and a bar came down to keep her and Kylie in their seats. Oh dear, I haven't finished my ice cream, said Blue Cow. But it was too late. The ride had started. The roller coaster climbed up and plunged down. It scooped around the corner and looped the loop. When the ride had finished, Blue Cow shakily staggered off. Her ice cream had disappeared. I wonder where it went, she said. Then Blue Cow saw George's dad. Oops, I'm sorry. That was my ice cream. Don't worry, said Dad, wiping his face clean. It is a special occasion, after all. Never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've, I've been to an amusement park and I went on a roller coaster. Everyone knows that cows can't ride on roller coasters. But we know they can, don't we? Oh, I love it when Blue Cow's ice cream splattered. <laughs> I love special occasions. <laughs> and so do I. Yeah. But all special occasions must come to an end. Look, <gasps> it's morning. The library will be <laughs> opening again soon. Yes, my little treasures. Dawn is upon us, the morning is nigh, we've made our stories and we bid you... Goodbye. Good story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, story makers. Stories Come back and see us soon. <laughs> Bye, Storymaker. Thanks for helping. <laughs>